Okay, let's look at this one. Let's use more circle to find the stresses. <clears throat> so now the book might say, hey, find the sigma x and tau xy at this cut, at this grain, at this orientation. So what it's really telling you is this was the x face right here. If this is 60 degrees, then I want you to rotate this 30 degrees counterclockwise. Do you see that, that this cut right here, even though it looks like 60 degrees, um, it's really 30 degrees counterclockwise. Now, one thing that you could do is you could say it's 60 degrees clockwise, but your X would be your Y and your Y would be your X. So anyway, <coughs> something like this. Shows like that would be, let's find the orientation, 30 degrees counterclockwise. All right, so what are we given? Uh, sigma X, negative 650, sigma Y, positive 400, and tau uh, is zero. Okay, hmm. okay, let's see how this uh, maps out. All right, so my starting point, negative 650 zero right starting point sigma x tau negative 650 zero so one two. so if these are hundreds so if you hadn't already drawn this draw draw your axes 100 200 300 400, 600 650 right here okay the center is at uh negative 125 The radius would just be this distance between those, 650 and 125, radius of 525. So start here and go to the left, 525, that, that is that point. Start here, go to the right, 525, uh, you'd get to 400. Start at the center, go up, 525, you'd be at 525. And then down, you'd be at 525. And so there's my circle <clears throat> so this is a special one uh, these actually are the principal stresses these are the principal stresses 650 and 400 right there and right there these are the principal stresses does it make sense yeah yeah the principal stresses are where the shear stress is zero there's no shear stress Right? There's no shear stress drawn on here. Shear stress is zero. Uh, this is a, I'm kind of starting at the principal stresses. That really helps me uh, to know that I'm starting at this orientation of, you know, zero. Okay, this will be easy. So. so now I want to know the new stresses, right? I'm starting here. Here's where I'm starting. It's okay to start in this quadrant to the left. That's fine. <coughs> I want to know the stresses at 30 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm going to go 60 degrees counterclockwise right here and I know this hypotenuse is still 525 so let me draw in blue so I want to know okay what is this base and height of this triangle at 60 degrees but that's not quite my answer then I'm going to take the base and height and figure out the, the location <clears throat> of that point right there so this triangle 525 60 degrees. Uh, this would be 525 cosine 60 to 62.5. This would be 525 sine 60 for 55. <clears throat> so yes, my tau is 455. Uh, all the units were PSI. All right, but my sigma is not 262. <clears throat> 262 is the base of that, but <clears throat> Where is it on these axes? It is 125 plus 262, right? Or negative 125 minus 262.5. This would be negative 387.5 PSI. That is <clears throat> my <clears throat> sigma x, <clears throat> my new sigma x is negative 387.5 psi <clears throat> if it asked for sigma y it would be somewhere over here 
at a similar oops, at a similar 60 degree triangle. You don't have to do this again. You can just take your center and add 262.5, <clears throat> 137.5 PSI. 137.5 PSI. So <coughs> this was easier because I started at this zero. So when I went 60 degrees counterclockwise, sorry, if I wanted to go 30 degrees counterclockwise, I went 60 degrees counterclockwise. So I've got at this triangle of 60 degrees and that still has the same hypotenuse that was the radius. Then I can find the <coughs> tau and then be careful with this normal stress the base is not the normal stress the base just helps you know where you are from the origin so from the origin i was negative 387.5 <clears throat> and then sigma y would be the same thing i just need to find this that base is the same as this base <clears throat> it'd give me to 137.5 psi Okay.